sees Christy Muzumeci with our listening post. Good morning, Christy. Good morning, Sam. We wanted to get reaction from Arab Americans to what's going on in Baghdad and beyond. Joining us from Washington, Hussein Ibish of the American Arab Anti-Discrimination Committee. Hussein, thanks for being with us. No, no, thanks, Christy. I want to ask you, first of all, in less than an hour, President Bush and Vice Pri uh, Prime Minister Tony Blair are going to take to the airwaves on Iraqi TV in this new channel co called Toward Freedom TV, saying that you deserve better than tyranny and corruption and torture chambers. How do you think this is going to go over? Yeah, I've seen the text of that speech, and I think they're saying the right thing. Uh, you know, they're saying we, we want to promote democracy, and we're not going to stay in Iraq. I mean, this is a, a, seems to be a key theme of, of what we understand the message is going to be, uh, and that's extremely important. But I think that there are so many doubts, not only throughout the Arab world, but also in Iraq, that people are, are, are saying, great, Saddam Hussein is gone, and I think there's pretty universal sentiment on that. But then people are asking, you know, is this a new form of colonialism? And what are U.S. intentions? So I think it's, it's very good that the president is going to say, you know, we're going to leave soon. And it's very important that we follow through on that and actually do leave soon. What about this theory that was floated yesterday by a former Egyptian general on Al Jazeera television that perhaps there was some sort of a conspiracy yeah. behind the scenes, right. a deal a made? Deal, we yeah. saw no resistance yesterday out of Baghdad. What do you make of that theory? Yeah, well, I mean, I think people uh, who are surprised uh, would like to try to find rational explanations for what they see. I mean, I think that the Arab world generally expected uh, the Iraqi army just to, to crumble completely. And they were surprised and amazed and, and impressed to some extent uh, the early days that conscripts were actually willing to fight, not for Saddam, but for their country, and that they put up some resistance in the south. But then they expected that for a much bigger battle in, in Baghdad. They didn't see that. Uh, so they are... I think some people are looking for conspiracy theories, but there's no evidence for that, and I don't think it's widely believed either. What is the theory, Hussein, about where Saddam is? Is there a belief that he is alive or dead? Is that being floated? Yeah, I, I don't think anybody knows. And I think that as long as there's a mystery about where Saddam Hussein is and where the, what happened to the Iraqi army, I mean, did they all just go home or did they go underground? Are they waiting to launch some kind of resistance in the future? And those are questions that are a little un, unsettling. But I think the bigger question questions tend to focus now uh, on the, uh, you know, American intentions. And I think the very powerful images of the statues of Saddam Hussein going down really pleased people, but at the same time, the images of, of you know, American flags going up, even temporarily, uh, scared people a great deal. So the questions now are less about uh, Saddam Hussein, because he's seen, I think, as completely finished, and I think he is. And the questions now are, what's this new situation we're in? What are the American intentions? Yeah, a lot of questions going exactly. forward. Hussein Ibish with the American Arab Anti-Discrimination Committee. Thanks, Hussein. That's the latest from the Listening Post. Back over to you, Chris. Thanks very much. Christy Muzumeci at our Listening Post. We saw the celebrations in the north, including in Kirkuk. They pulled down the statue of Saddam Hussein. But how will Kurds factor into Iraq's next government? We're going to hear from a one